Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. So on this video, I really wanted to show you what was in all the refrigerators. So since moving, I have gotten a regular in-house refrigerator, obviously like everybody has. Um, mine's a little bit different because it's a four door. And then I tried to go cheap when I was moving and I bought a refrigerator off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. And it was okay. Um, basically, it just froze everything. And so we decided to actually just spend some money, get a new refrigerator, and put that one in our garage. And we're still going to use it. I don't want it to go to waste. But I actually have a third one. Who would have thought, right? My house has like a mother-in-law suite and eventually my mom will live with us and it's like a one bedroom apartment inside my house. Like it actually has a kitchen and a bathroom, laundry, like the whole deal. Like it's not just a guest room downstairs. Well, she has a refrigerator in there as well. It's actually the same refrigerator. So I wanted to show you what was in all the things. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I upload a new video. So I am always curious about what people keep, how much of things people keep, and how they store it because um, in my heart of hearts, I think I'm like a, a prepper. I don't have any like long-term food storage or anything like that, but I wish I did. And I eventually I will work on it. I'm just trying to get kind of settled in my house at the moment. If you don't know, I did purchase a house maybe like two months ago and it's like our amazing forever house. So um, I will link that house tour right here. So I wanted to show you guys right after I put all the groceries away, my house is kind of messy, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So I have a four door refrigerator. So these two are refrigerator. This one is a freezer. This one can be either or. Right now I use it as a refrigerator. So when you open it, you can see I have all of the space, right? So this is the view of my refrigerator and it is a counter depth refrigerator. So you'll see it's not very deep, but the space I have really, really called for it. So this is the overview. So you'll notice like the refrigerator isn't very deep. You can like see to the back. Um, this space really needed a counter depth refrigerator because there's not a lot of space I'll show you in between the island and the refrigerator. It actually looks bigger on camera. So what I have in here, starting at my top shelf, is I have some yogurt. There's some pickles back there. Um, I usually have a big thing of spring mix. That's like the large size. And I always put my milk up here. I really want to put it in the door, but it never seems to get there. I don't know why. Um, orange juice, sour cream. Uh, tomatoes. The second shelf I always put my eggs on. I don't know why these are sticking out. Right now I have three eggs. This is some leftover creamy chicken noodle soup. I will link that recipe below because it's amazing and it makes a huge batch. So my husband eats on that for lunches a lot of times. Um, these are just break apart cookies. Over here looks like a hodgepodge but I have some blueberries back there, feta cheese, and um, some store-bought pico de gallo. This is hot dogs and some mushrooms. And then back there, I actually have some more hot dogs. And I have these easy like dinner things. And this is a carnitas taco. And the bottom one is a carnitas taco dinner. Um, same kind of concept, you just heat it up. Lately, I've been really needing some easy meals because of filming and homeschool and all the things. Um, and these are just two pie crusts. So the bottom shelf I usually put all the fresh stuff in and anything that I make during the week in bulk I put in here and I usually am and I'm trying to put everything in glass so you can see it. So back there I have some cauliflower that I haven't got to. I'm going to actually make some cauliflower soup soon. Um, these are some really good grapes from Trader Joe's. Um, I think they're called Saf. These ones Sapphire. They're really good if you haven't tried them. These were some green beans I took out of my freezer, so I need to cook those probably in the next day or two. Um, I put these green bell peppers right here because one of them I actually need for a recipe, but the other two I don't. So I put them right here to remind myself to cut them and actually freeze them. Back there is just a thing of salad and another thing of mushrooms. 
back here I have all the things that I have to kind of lay down. Um, like I said, it's not kind of, here I have some things I need to lay down, not the strawberries, but um, these are, it's vanilla almond milk and then unsweetened almond milk, some heavy whipping cream. Um, I can't put anything vertical is the only thing with the counter dip, even like a half gallon. So I think it's meant to like put those things in your door. So these are grapes that I just got in my last grocery haul, which I'll link right here for you guys. And in this kind of try to separate things, but it doesn't really work. I'm sure you guys can agree. Um, so some peppers, some green onions, there's a zucchini, there's a cucumber, some grapes, um, these are jalapenos, uh, lettuce for tacos, in the other drawer, this is, I usually try to keep this just for vegetables, so in here I always have carrots, radishes for salads, I love to cut those up and put them on salads, um, I have broccoli in here, baby, those are regular carrots and then I always have baby carrots, we are a huge carrot fan in this house. All my guys love them. These are Brussels sprouts and I have some turnips that I was going to use for a roast and haven't used them. So this, this drawer is actually like if you had platters or things like that. I really, really liked it. My last refrigerator in the last house I rented had one and I really, really liked it and it was really good when you entertained, but I don't have any platters right now as you can tell. Um, so in here I just have some cucumbers, some celery, some asparagus, um, the rest of my celery, I have some other mat, I usually, I'm trying to use these ones up so they are matchstick, um, carrots, zucchini, a lunchable, some tofu, and some wonton wrappers. So in the door you'll see that I just have regular stuff that everybody has I guess. Um, I always buy Duke's mayonnaise because I live in the south. This was some pizza sauce from when we did like a pizza making contest and I was going to use this crust and I haven't used it so I need to use it up. I ended up making my own instead. I have my coffee creamers up here so coconut and vanilla. Um, I've been really really liking the coconut though. And then I have a rock star back there just because I got an extra one today. So you never know when you need to pick me up during the week um, and I'm trying not to just as everyone else like I try to only go out once a week and get groceries so I have a already done coffee vanilla latte this is actually unopened parmesan cheese of course uh, these were just some barbecue sauces that I tried I actually really 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 like this one it's like my all-time favorite it's called Carolina Classics this is a um, restaurant that's in our town kind of like a almost like a fast food restaurant I wouldn't say it's like a nice restaurant or anything um, they do wings and stuff and I really really like this I've been putting on hot dogs and stuff too and then this is more of like a traditional and then just some relish and beef broth back there on this side is a little more crammed so at the top you can see like I have some jellies um, I have some blackberry because that's my favorite jelly um, orange marmalade that was for a roast and I usually keep it because I can do about two roasts out of it I do the pioneer woman's um, red wine roast oh it's so good cherries lime juice and then of course does everybody have a stash of condiment things from restaurants dressing from chick-fil-a this is basically salad dressing you guys I have an issue so I'm kind of just determined to use them all up is the problem here. So I have some avocado ranch and um, cilantro lime, Thousand Island, Greek goddess, or no, this is ranch, that's Thousand Island. This is Caesar, raspberry vinaigrette, and Italian. Down here I have some opened... Um, spaghetti sauce this is my favorite spaghetti sauce the Bertoli the olive oil and garlic some barbecue sauce a big thing of Italian dressing the one from Olive Garden uh, ketchup and soy sauce so so yeah so let's go down I have these two and I'll show you what's in here so down here I have drawers and this is why I really really liked this refrigerator because it had drawers in the freezer so this says it's a multi-use box so basically I put 
anything that's like um, cheese and stuff like that I put in here. So I have some cream cheese, some cottage cheese. That's cottage cheese too. I put um, I always put my butter in here. This is crescent rolls. There's um, hummus kind of back there you can see. I have a thing of chorizo down there. That's like spicy. That's spicy Mexican sausage. My husband is Hispanic. So we have um, egg and cheese burritos a lot. Um, and then this is kind of my cheese. And I always put the one up here that's like opened. So I know to use it up. So I have butter back there, which I actually didn't know. I probably wouldn't have bought another one. Um, cream cheese and sour cream. The sour cream that I have down here usually goes for recipes. The one in my refrigerator is like what we can use for like tacos. In this drawer, I put all the extra meat and cheese. So this is the extra cheese. There's lunch meat in here, there's bacon, there's all the things. There's some mozzarella cheese, there's some salami, um, Monterey Jack cheese, um, and then I think I have turkey and ham. And the bottom one, doesn't have anything but these green beans down here. So those need to get used and a thing of spinach. So this is kind of my overflow drawer. So the other side here is my freezer. The top, instead of being multi-use, it's an ice maker. So that's really nice. And so in here is stuff that I grab for um, often or that I need to have like for the week usually is what I put in here. So do you, does everybody have like a little kid ice pack? I think I use it more than my little guy. Um, I always have Eggos in here. These are some wontons that I always have. Trader Joe's um, orange chicken. Um, thing of ground beef. There's some hash browns. And you wouldn't think, but the drawers actually hold a lot. So there's some sweet corn. So there is some fried rice, sweet corn. What kind of vegetable is this? Um, that's a mixed vegetable and two broccolis, I want to say. I was going to make a big thing of vegetable soup. That's why those are there. So this one has um, just a bunch of vegetables. And they're just frozen vegetables. So, and then this. So this I bought at Trader Joe's. I was going to eat it the other day and I didn't. And then this is just my, like, stash of frozen vegetables. So I have asparagus, corn, broccoli. What else? Green beans more green beans. So I really like to have a big stash of frozen vegetables on hand. Um, makes me feel very secure. So as you can tell, I'd rather have frozen vegetables on hand rather than a lot of canned, even though I have canned vegetables too. And then now we're actually in the mother-in-law suite. So I hardly ever come in here. So let me show you what's in here. Here's the refrigerator. It's the same exact refrigerator. Isn't that funny? But I just thought it was perfect for the space because it's a counter depth refrigerator and like there's nothing in it but that's okay you know but since she's not here I am using her freezer so in the freezer I have some hot dog buns hot dog um, or hamburger buns I also have some other like wontons and two things of Eggos and down here I have a stash of like ice cream popsicles. So all that on this side I don't think there's yeah, there's nothing in the bottom here I just put all the meat that I just bought in my last grocery haul. So there's two things of turkey a big thing of chicken ground beef and um, hamburger patties So This is actually my third refrigerator. It's out here in my garage we bought this on Facebook Marketplace and thought, oh, it'll be fine till we can buy a brand new one. Yeah, it was not fine. And it basically freezes on both sides. So when we bought our new refrigerator, we put this out here and it works good because it freezes on both sides. So I like that it's a French door though. <laughs> and so I'm not 100% sure what's in here, but we'll see. Um, there's not a ton, but I know I do have stuff like stocked up weirdly and that's why I kind of wanted to show you guys. So I have, um, I have one thing of drumsticks up here. There's some random ice cream. Always got to have some meatballs stocked up, right? And then in here, of course, some ice packs. 
These are green beans, some random ice cream. Always got a stock of Texas toast, got some pork chops, and those are some pancakes. And then this is bacon. On this second shelf, usually I really try to have like a shelf of bread, and this has not essentially worked, but that's okay. Um, I do have some cheese from Costco, like a big brick of cheese. Looks like there's two things of bread. And like I said, I didn't even clean this or straighten it up for y'all. This is real life. So um, I know these are from Trader Joe's. The veggie spring rolls. These I actually bought by mistake. I thought they were chicken nuggets. Um, they are actually chicken meatballs, but I actually really like this brand. I found it at Publix. Um, we always have some Otter Pops in here for the neighbor kids. So my son has something to give everyone. Um, this is funny. This is kale. And I'm really like, I hate wasting anything. So I try to like freeze anything I can and try to make sure nothing goes bad. So down here is... There's some chicken, some tortellini from uh, Costco, which I always have on hand. So I usually, we eat one and we put one in the freezer. Uh, these are actually roasted uh, potatoes that you just, they're already frozen. You heat them up. And um, they're from Trader Joe's. Back there, I have some pot stickers, which I always keep on hand. And then there's, basically, there's a bunch of vegetables. So during the pandemic, I kind of stocked up on vegetables, and so there's some corn, I think some broccoli. There's a couple other bags of vegetables back there as well. Down here, this originally has always been for my fruit, right? So any of the fruit that you buy that needs to get frozen. So I have a huge thing from Costco of strawberries, because I love me a strawberry smoothie. I have um, Kung Pao chicken from Trader Joe's and a stir fry. And there's also some blueberries in here. So this is the other side. So because everything freezes in here, I just put anything that doesn't fit in there in here. And so I had just a thing of hash browns and a box of Texas toast. Okay guys, so that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed looking around my freezer, seeing what I've had. I'm always curious about what people keep on hand, how much people keep on hand. I really have a lot of vegetables on hand, uh, mainly during all of the craziness in the world. That's kind of what I stocked up on. And we've eaten through quite a bit of the meat, but um, I usually keep a lot of vegetables on hand um, just in case. I don't know why. And I think it's because I like frozen vegetables over canned. So I'd rather stock up on that than buying cans of vegetables. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer frozen or do you prefer canned? Um, I'd be really interested. Put it down in the comments below. Let me know. And I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.